Hey there, do you want to learn how to create a button to run the macro in MS Excel that too with an example? If yes, then this video is absolutely for you. In this video, I'm going to show you one of the many ways to run the macro inside of MS Excel. I'll take you through complete steps to run the macros just in a click by creating a button that too from scratch. And all this has been done using a very simple data that will be very easy to recreate and understand. You can easily get this exercise file downloaded in system using the link provided in the description of this video. So go Go ahead, watch this complete video, practice this concept in the exercise file provided to you and become the master of it. Hello everyone, welcome back to this Microsoft Excel tutorial journey with me on my Knowledge Factor YouTube channel. This is session number 146 and we are learning the Excel tools which can help us to automate the repetitive task in Microsoft Excel. Alright, so we have recorded our macro in our last video we have made some edits to the macro in our last video now I want to be able to run the macro I have opened the exercise file backup it's called the test macro worksheet I have closed the VBA window that we are looking at in the prior lecture and if you have missed watching that video that uh, how to edit the macro using the visual basic editor here is the link on your screen go ahead and watch that video to learn how to edit the macro using the visual basic editor so currently I am on the test macro worksheet this is where we are going to test out the macro that we just created one button press and it's going to do all of those operations for us insert the headers format them autofill the columns format the dates format the currency and turn on the filters all in one button press so let's take a look at how we can create a button first and tie it to our macro. Watch this. So there's actually multiple ways to accomplish this. I'm going to show you one of them here. On the developer tab, top of the screen, inside of the control section, I have got an insert button. And if I go in the insert, the very first button in there is the command button. I'm going to get that a click, just one click. So come out of the worksheet someplace and see I get a little plus icon. Right? a plus sign I'm gonna left click and drag just to create a little rectangle now the moment that I let go the cursor it's going to pop up a sign macro window alright so I'll grab the macro that I created format table I'm going to hit ok so I have now created a simple little button that runs my macro now I can rename it it's called button 1 right now I will highlight that We'll call this format table and I'll click some empty place in my worksheet. So right now I have got a button up there and if I click that button, so try this out. If it really needs a one button press, I'm going to give it a click and it's now formatted my table, added the headers, it formatted the dates, the currency, it dropped in the drop downs. You can see that it didn't cover up my last name first name my higher data is now higher date right oh i i need to just fix this small thing the employee id i need to auto fit that cell as well and and you know how to edit that right we can just jump back into the visual basic editor and edit the macro but now one button press and we got all of that to happen right all of those steps just in one click so now that weekly report that you are always dumping down into excel you have now got a button hit that button and you are done a macro you are truly automating your experience within excel so try this out not only create a button but create some other macros as well think about things that uh, you know you do inside of excel on day-to-day -day basis in a repetitive manner that you would like to automate creating charts creating pivot tables doing simple formatting building templates um, adding calculations whatever it might be right think about what you can automate what, what's going to make your life easier streamline your experience inside of excel through the, uh, the the use of macro right so try the button first and then start creating some other macros and let me know jump into the comment section and please let me know what what you create or what you would like to create and i will be there to help you out so that's what i wanted to share with you today uh, probably uh, i have come to an end on this section for uh, using the macro in the microsoft excel we tried creating the macro we tried editing the macro and we 
just learned that how to run the macro by creating just a button in the Microsoft Excel. Okay, so hope you like this video and hope this will help you in your future task in Microsoft Excel. So thank you so much for watching this tutorial and as I always say if you really like this video and enjoying this journey then please do like share and subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon to get the latest content update on this channel. Alright then we'll meet up in the next session in case you have any questions any concerns then do let me know in the comment section of this video. So see you in the next session till then stay safe have a great life and take very good care of yourself.